Hey Team Shuckle, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Team Analysis Tuesday. Today's team is going to be the Sunroom team that um, we uh, we didn't really make. Uh, we took it from Nugget Bridge and uh, this team is made by Bridger Snow, also known as Squirt2 on Nugget Bridge. And uh, when I was reading his uh, article uh, for, I can look at it right now, it was um, Salt Lake uh, regionals. Uh, he placed, um, what is it, 16th at the Southern California regionals and third at the Utah regionals with this team. Um, so I took it because I really liked the way it was laid out. I really liked the Pokemon in it, and uh, so I decided to make my own. And we, you've seen me use this team a lot on this channel. It's usually my go-to team if I don't have a team ready. But um, yeah, I've made some changes, and I'll go over those as we get there. So I'm going to hit play on this uh, video. You guys are going to watch some videos of, you know, the team in action. I uh, have about five of them. So let's get going. So to start off with, um, we've got Trevenant. Now Trevenant is really cool to this team. Uh, it really benefits from the sun that Charizard brings, uh, especially with the harvest. Uh, as you can see, we have the EVs for uh, 248 HP, 76 attack, 112 defense, and 72 special defense. Now, these EVs were made by Bridger Snow, and um, he wanted more of like a tanky sort of trick room setter. You know, his team is very offensive. Um, and as you can see, you know, instead of having a defensive nature, it does have an offensive nature. Um, his team originally has Woodhammer over Hornleech, but I have found that. Woodhammer is not as useful. Um, I have won games because of Hornleech. I have won games from that extra bit of HP you get from Hornleech. Uh, I found it way more useful than the Woodhammer, uh, so that's why I made that change. Uh, I also tried Lumberry on this Trevenant, but you know the Citrus Berry really extends its survivability. Um, as you can see, you know it handles Mega Kangaskhan as long as it's not running Crunch. Uh, Crunch is a two-hit KO on this Trevenant. However, you don't really do too much damage back. I mean, I'm sure with Will-O-Wisp and Hornleech, uh, you'll eventually win that matchup, but you have to get the Will-O-Wisp off first, so that's pretty important. Uh, so it also can handle some super effective moves under the sun, and that, that's mainly mainly unstabbed ones, uh, so like a Politoed or a Ludicolo's Ice Beam. Uh, and the reason why I say under the sun is because they'll usually do about 75%, but because of the Citrus Berry, you gain that HP pretty much back. And to com combine that with Horn Leech, you'll basically be back at the same level, and that's even against, you know, um, that's even against, sorry, uh, things like... Oh god, I lost my tra train of thought for a second. Um, but but basically, long story short, it just you know survives a lot of things, and um, it is one of the only things on this team that does spread status. So that's really important to note. Uh, Will o wisp is definitely a very important status in this meta game. So right before I, I play the next video, we're gonna show Scrafty, and I just want you guys to if if you didn't see it, go back a little bit. Um, I won that battle because of Rocky Helmet, and this Scrafty right here is very, very important with the Rocky Helmet, and and I'll get into that. I just wanted you guys to note that you know we won that battle because of Rocky Helmet. So I'm gonna go over here. I am going to play, and we're gonna continue on. So Scrafty is a, is a cool Pokemon that I didn't actually change at all from the team. I th I figured it did it, its job really well. You know, it's not the bulkiest member of the team, uh, which is sort of surprising. Um, it does take a lot of physical hits very well, but it does need that Intimidate support. Uh, so, you know, that's something to, to make note of when you're using this team. Um, Scrafty, without the Intimidate, really can't switch in on a lot of attacks. Um, and if it's four times weak to a fairy move, you know, good luck with that. Uh, but as you can see, you know, it's a fairly generic spread. It's 252 HP and attack with a little bit of special defense. Um, the Detect, you know, there's really... Not a lot of Pokemon running around with Imprison nowadays, so Detect isn't, you know, the most necessary thing. You can run Protect over that. It gets both. Um, this is just what I, I settled for. I just imported the team and never really changed it. You know, the, the, the only difference is PP, so it's really up to you. What Scrafty does do really well is it brings Fake Out support to allow you to set up Trick Room with 
Mr. Mime, Kecleon, or Trevenant, and that's really helpful. Uh, it also helps you, you know, just get kills that you need to get. get. Uh, Drain Punch and Ice Punch are fairly important and but fairly obvious uh, as you can see in the notes uh, it does beat Mega Kangaskhan but it needs that intimidate uh, usually you know a return should do about 80 percent but with the intimidate it does about 40 so that's really really crucial and plus it attacks twice you've got the rocky helmet you have the drain punch so it's a really good combination for Mega Kangaskhan um, it also beats Garchomp it doesn't need intimidate for Garchomp but it does beat it normally uh, like I said fake out and rocky helmet are really crucial on this Pokemon so moving on we're gonna come to one of my one of my personal favorites of this team this thing I, if if you watch my channel you know just how crazy powerful this thing is. Um, I used to run a Marowak, not on this team, but to do what Rhydon does, and Rhydon prov provides a bulky lightning rod support, you know, for Charizard. Charizard is definitely the main feature of this team, and uh, to have something with lightning rod is really, really useful. Uh, so, as you can see, you know, it's fairly basic. I'll, I'll get into the EV spread. Uh, I didn't make it, this was from Bridger Snow's team. But um, I'll explain, you know, what it does. Uh, but with, you know, the Brave Nature and the Drill Run and Rock Slide, you're going to be getting a lot of KOs that you probably wouldn't with a bunch of other things. Uh, it's actually really cool. Um, it doesn't necessarily KO Mega Mawile with Drill Run, like a one-hit KO. But um, as you can see in the, in the notes, it underspeeds Mega Mawile, which is a huge, huge deal. Uh, Mega Mawile is definitely one of the biggest threats to a Trick Room team because it's of its such slow ability. You know, it is so slow, but this thing underspeeds it, and it's to hit KO'd by Iron Head. So you two hit KO it back, but you're usually going to be faster if you have uh, Trick Room up. Also, obviously, very obviously, this thing survives and handles Talonflame like it's nobody's business. Um, Talonflame just does nothing to this thing. It is great. Choice Banded, Adamant, Max Attack, Talonflame is like a 40% with both of its stabs. So that is just so fantastic. Uh, other things to note, it does survive Garchomp's Earthquake. Uh, as long as you have a partner on the field. I think even with a partner on, without a partner on the field, you'll still take, take it pretty well. Um, you can't really do too much back. Uh, Drill Run will do, you know, a good chunk, but not enough to really take it out one-on-one. -on -one. Also, really awesome, it survives Mega Heracross's close combat, and I just put that one in because I figured that's a really good point to note just how strong this thing is, uh, or bulky. Um, another thing to really note that I didn't put in because I didn't have room for it, but with the sun up, it does take uh, Rotom Wash's Hydro Pump like a champ. Uh, not, I didn't calc it out, but I'm pretty sure it does take... Um, it does deal some good damage with Rock Slide, and Substitute's really good because it's it's slower than a lot of things, so in Trick Room will be very fast, uh, and this way you can avoid like Rotom Wash going for, say, Will-O-Wisp, and that'd be really lovely. And plus, if no one ta attacks you and you get a Substitute up for free, this thing is even harder to take down. So, yeah, I'm gonna hit another battle, and then we're gonna go on to the next Pokemon, Mr. Mime. Now, Mr. Mime is probably one of the more surprising Pokemon on this team. Uh, when I saw it, you know, I wasn't really sure how it will work, but it is so beneficial to this team. Um, as you can see, you know, the EV spread is very weird. Uh, 36 speed, <laughs> why would you run speed? Um, you know, I looked at speed tiers, and there wasn't really too many reasons to have the speed. Uh, you do outspeed Scrafty, which I have deemed was enough. Uh, you want to outspeed Scrafty, because Scrafty can uh, fake you out, and you want your quick guard Quick Guard and Fake Guard, uh, not Fake Guard, Quick Guard and Fake Out are actually the same priority bracket, uh, so that's something really important to note about, uh, about Mr. Mime. You're not going to be able to block a, a Fake Out from Raichu, Mian Xiao, or um, Kangaskhan, or even um, Meowstic, unless you have Trick Room up, so just remember that because, you know, I fall into that a lot, but, you know, it does block priority brave birds which you know this team doesn't really love too much which is awesome I love it um, and of course dazzling gleam does decent damage it doesn't really do a lot but it's good enough 
Now on to the EV spread and the calcs and stuff like that. Uh, it survives modest specs Hydreigon's Dark Pulse. That's ridiculous. Uh, and as you can see two lines below that, it almost one hit KOs Hydreigon. It's a 60%, 62% chance to one hit KO, which, hey, I'll take. You know, that that's no real in defensive investment, but I don't really see too many defensive Hydreigons. Correct me if I'm wrong, so... Yeah, it also survives Adamant Bisharp's Iron Head, which is really nice, and it also survives Mega Gengar's Sludge Bomb. I just, I put those three because I figure they're probably some of the more powerful attacks in, in the meta right now. Um, I probably, uh, it doesn't survive Mega Mawile's Iron Head, unfortunately. I think it's like maybe a 2% chance or something like that. Not, not, not very good. But, you know, you do have Trevenant and you do have Rhydon for Mawile, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, so moving on, we're going to go on to Kecleon. Now, Kecleon, Kecleon, Kecleon. The, you know, I very rarely use it, and I, I don't know if you've noticed that in the videos and stuff like that. But, you know, it's very underwhelming. Uh, and I, I really hate to say that. Uh, the spread he had was, I can look it up real quick. The EV spread he had was 252 HP, 52 attack, 200 defense, and 4 special defense. You know, I wasn't really keen on that spread. I don't really like it too much. It wasn't really doing much for me, so I wanted to give it more attack so it can, you know, dish out more damage. Um, I wanted to give it special defense so it can handle, you know, more of the special threats in the game. Uh, but, you know, there, there's something about this Kecleon that... I'm not a big fan of. And as you can see on the on the screen right now, you know, it's just shy of KOing that Garchomp and uh, I don't know. It's just one of those things that I'm not too happy with, but I'm not really sure what to do. Um, I don't think it's bulky enough to get Trick Room off, to be quite honest with you. Uh, especially defensively, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely bulky enough to do that, but you know, you don't want to sacrifice its attack you know, that's why it has a life orb. You don't want to give it a focus sash to get it off because usually, you know, most moves will two hit KO you. So, you know, it, it, it's a really toss up Pokemon that I'm not really sure. Sometimes it, it's, it's very, very extreme. You know, it's either not going to work or going to work. So something that I'm considering is switching Kecleon out for an Assault Vest Conkledur who alongside of Mr. Mime and a couple of those other Pokemon would actually, I think, do really well on this team. I hate to leave Kecleon because it does have such a good dynamic with the team, you know, defensively, but it just doesn't really do very much. It's very good at handling Charizard Y. I'll, I'll give it that. It can take Charizard Y really well. I've tested, you know, assault, I, well, I've cal calced out Assault Vest, um, Life Orb, you know, varying natures and EV spreads, and I just, I couldn't find something that would work really well. Maybe you guys can, but I really couldn't. So this is probably the most underwhelming Pokemon on the team, and um, its lack of usage really demonstrates that. So I'm going to get the last battle up, and I'm going to get to you the most important Pokemon of this team. Now, I love Charizard on this team. Now, you may be looking at yourself and you may be saying, Ryan, Charizard is decently fast. Yes, yes it is. Um, but it, it has such a great dynamic with this team. You know, the Sun really does help the Pokemon. Sun greatly benefits Rhydon and Trevenant. And, you know, it just has such a good dynamic. Now... His spread, Bridger Snow set spread, is 222, 228 HP, 4 defense, 236 special attack, 4 special defense, and 36 speed. I was, oops, sorry, um, I was calcing this out for this video. So everything you see in, in the battles, use that spread. However, you know, I wanted to, you know, give you these notes at the bottom. You know, you know, I wanted those notes, and when I was going through the calculations, I realized it's not a really good spread. Uh, 36 speed IVs really doesn't outspeed anything important. It there's really nothing there that you want to outspeed. So thinking about it, 
I looked at various spreads and stuff like that, and I, and I looked at the speed tiers, and I found out that if you don't give it any speed at all, and maybe even if you really, really felt so inclined, um, if you gave it a negative speed nature, look at those two first, two first informations, <laughs> information notes. Uh, it underspeeds neutral Politoed, and it underspeeds positive Tyranitar. Now think of that for a second. Politoed, okay, that that's not the end of the world, <laughs> because you know Politoed can't Mega Evolve. But think about that Tyranitar for a second. You underspeed it, so it's gonna Mega Evolve, get the Sand up, and then you Mega Evolve and get the Sun up. Which means, those cases where people Mega Evolve their Tyranitar to cancel your sand, your sun, and then go for Rock Slide and kill you, you now undo that. Now, of course, in Trick Room, this is not entirely how it works. Um, in Trick Room, it works a little bit better for Politoed, uh, if you're both switching in. But, no it doesn't. No, I'm a, I'm a liar, sorry. <laughs> but, um, it, it works well outside of Trick Room, and while this is a Trick Room team, you know, you'll find yourself outside of Trick Room sometimes, and this is really, really useful. And plus, the 36 speed IVs, I felt were a waste. There was nothing there that you really outsped that you really needed to. Uh, on top of that, when I calced it out, it actually didn't have a great chance of surviving Jolly Guard Chomp's Rock Slide. And, you know, I was honestly surprised at that, because most of the time we do survive it. And, you know, I looked into it, and I made it so that we are two hit KO'd by Guard Chomp's Rock Slide every single time, which is very, very, very useful. On top of that, it one hit KO's Ray Rizzo's Mega Mawile with Heat Wave. And that's not, you know, Heat Wave, sort of, you know, like, as if it was like a flamethrower. No, it's Heat Wave as a spread move. So, just imagine that. that that's kind of ridiculous. And for those of you who don't know, Ray Rizzo's Mega Mawile is 252 HP, 180 special defense, and a careful nature. It's designed to take hits, uh, but this one can take it down. Uh, and I, I found that very impressive, to be quite honest with you. I think most normal Charizards can do that, but I just like this, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. Uh, Ancient Power lets you beat out other Charizards who may not be as bulky as you are. And uh, just in general, it's a very fantastic Pokemon that works really well. So, that's the team. Uh, I, I love it. I love it a lot. My only one complaint is that this Kecleon does nothing for me. I don't know when to use it. I I just don't know. He originally had a skill swap on this Kecleon, but it doesn't really skill swap skill swap, pardon me, is doesn't work on Megas, so you can't just steal parental bond, you can't just steal huge power. Um, it only works on other things, and, you know, those things I don't really feel the need to take their abilities. Um, I mean, yeah, it'd be great for Talonflame, but you're almost one hit KO'd by it. It's not really worth it. Um, it could work against Salamence, where you just sort of shoot their Intimidate back at them. But, again, I don't really think you're going to be able to stay in against a Salamence when you know, other things really need to be getting done. So, in my opinion, Kecleon is one of the is the weakest link of this team and can probably be replaced. Now, my option of Conglader doesn't really solidify our weakness against Talonflame. As you can tell, this team does take a lot take a lot, a lot, a lot of damage from Talonflame. Um Rhydon is a perfect counter for it. It has literally nothing for Rhydon. It could use Steel Wing, but I don't even think that's a KO. Um, but, you know, you do have the Mr. Mime for Quick Guard and Wide Guard. So, you know, there's a lot of things going on this team that you really don't have to worry too much about for the Talonflame. I've personally never really been swept by a Talonflame by using this team. Uh, you just have to play carefully. That's really all it is. It's just playing carefully. Um... 
But yeah, I mean, other than Talonflame, there's really no overarching weakness to this team. Uh, it's pretty, pretty solid. So I'll get back to you guys on the Conkledur. I mean, you know, it gives you a Psychic weakness, which Scrafty and Mr. Mime take. Uh, gives you a flying weakness, which only Rhydon really takes, and you do definitely have a huge flying weakness, but it's not like Kecleon's really switching in on a Talonflame anyway. Um, outside of that, I think that's really about it that it would give, and that's really not the end of the world. I'm already weak to Talonflame, so <laughs> it's not nothing lost. And plus, the Conkledurs that I tend to run run Rock Slide, and with a Quick Guard next to it, I don't have to worry. So... That's the team, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, remember, again, this is not my team. This is Bridger Snow slash Squirtu's team. I made some of my own personal changes, you know, specifically with the Charizard, the Kecleon, and the um, the Trevenant. But outside of that, you know, it's completely his team. That Rhydon, if you're ever in need of a bulky rock ground type, Go for Rhydon. It is so, so much better than you would ever think. So much better. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys at the next episode. Peace.